Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be learning how to merge images into a panorama and then make a kind of surreal look for them. So you can see here, I'm in Adobe Bridge right now. It's a very underused program in the suite. Uh, you should definitely check it out. It comes with Photoshop. It's basically like Finder or Explorer, but for photographers. And if you really get good at it, it can kind of be like mini Lightroom when you use it with Camera Raw, but this is an Adobe Bridge tutorial. Uh, so I'm in my folder, I've got my images here, I'm just going to click and drag and select them all, go up to Tools, and then go to Photoshop, and then Photo Merge. So it opens up Photo Merge inside of uh, Adobe Photoshop, and we've got some options right here for the layout. Uh, normally, unless you really know what you're doing, just go with Auto. Since this is a basic tutorial, I'm not going to cover the specifics of all these other ones. If you open up Photo Merge from Photoshop, you'll have to manually browse and find the pictures that you want and then import them in. But since we used Bridge, they're already right there. Uh, we're going to click Blend Images Together, and we're going to leave these other twos uh, just the way they are. Since I'm shooting on a 50 millimeter lens, there's not too much geometric distortion, and I kind of like the look that it gives us a little bit distorty, the way this turns out when I was seeing how it would look. And I don't really have much of a vignette that we need to remove. And so we just can hit OK, and then it'll think for a little bit. And this could take a little bit of time depending on how many pictures of what size you use and how fast your computer is. So my computer is pretty quick, so we're done right about now. So you can see Photoshop has already blended the images together for us. We've got this nice big panorama here. You can see I was doing it handheld, so we've got a little bit of funniness going on. Uh, so you can export it like this if you want to, if that's your thing. And I've seen some cool panoramas where they the images aren't stitched together. It's cool to do that with like film and stuff, but we're going to keep them stitched together because we're mainstream like that. Hit C to bring up your crop tool, and I'm just going to use this to sort of rotate around and crop in and get just what we want right up in here. So leave a little bit of that tree in there just so it's not just clouds and kind of add some interest, but I don't want to clone stamp anything. So I've got a good looking panorama here. It's nice and straight and, and nice, but it looks kind of like normal, like... You know, might as well just use your cell phone. So as Alzar would say, we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to hit Control G with all of our layers selected and create a group. And we'll just call this image is. Then we'll go up here and we'll create a levels adjustment layer. If you don't have this dialog box up here, you can go to window adjustments. Or you can just click down here on this little guy and go to levels. I've got this in here, we see a histogram. And what this basically is, is the number of pixels in what range of brightness. So down here, we've got the darkest, the blacks, and you see we don't really have many pixels down there. The white kind of falls off, and then it's upper mid range, we have a bunch. So what we're gonna do to make this look really surreal and a little bit angry is bring these blacks and then crush them down and make more and more pixels in this black area. So see, we're getting this cool, really, you know, angry storm feel here. And then to kind of pop these out some, we're going to bring the whites and we're going to crush them in. So this is putting more of the percentage of, of the pixels in that white area. And it makes this really punchy image, really contrasty, you know, very Facebook-like worthy. So we've got that going. That's looking pretty good. Uh, and then one more optional thing, if you want to do make it fine art, you just make it black and white. I'll create a gradient map and just choose a black and white preset, and that's looking pretty good. And now we have a surreal, arty, you know, storm picture. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little Photoshop tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you have any comments, constructive criticism, funny jokes, put them in the comments. Share it with your friends if you think they'd like to be able to create cool, surreal, panoramic pictures. Once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. Have a great day.